Hello everybody and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make some chrome text and we're going to start off by just creating a uh, very simple background. We're just going to go in here and grab a blue color and then we're going to grab the other one, uh, grab that same color, make it just a tad darker and a little bit more teal like. They're going to use our gradient tool. We're going to click on the um, radial gradient. We're going to go to the middle of our image and then shift click, drag it straight out and you can see there it kind of creates a cool effect. You might want to actually reverse that a little bit though. Might look better. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. And uh, now we're going to create, um, get rid of that layer. We're going to create our font. We're just going to make it say Chrome. And we need to pick out a font type for this. And thinking something like that. Make sure it's on crisp or sharp. I usually do sharp. And uh, leave it white go ahead and place it right in the middle of the document. We're then going to double click that in in our layer styles. We're going to do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop a shadow on this. Um, we're going to go ahead and soften this a little bit by just upping the spread. And you can see there it kind of softens the shadow just a little, little bit. We're then going to go ahead and click on satin. And you can see here it's already starting to look a little bit like chrome. Um, we can go ahead and up this as much as we want for as much chrome. I want to do a little bit of a darker chrome, so something kind of like that. You could also add a little hint of brown in there if you'd like, um, just to kind of bring out the, the color of the chrome a little bit more. Once you do that, you're going to click on bevel and emboss, and you're going to do the um, uh, inner bevel. And we can change the uh, type to chisel hard. And then here's where you're going to get your different chrome effects. By selecting the different um, patterns, you can select literally like different kinds of looking chrome, um, just you know to figure out whichever one you like the best. I kind of like this one myself. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, you can do other things like stroke it um, to really make it stand out, but make that be like a dark gray color so it, it kind of uh, works on the edges there a little bit, maybe even a little bit lighter. Uh, something kind of like that kind of brings it out and makes it look like it's just popping off that page and you can do stuff like the outer glow if you want um, not really necessary but um, I usually try to match the background color with the outer glow that I do if I'm going to put one on there um, just so that uh, kind of like alright so a little bit kind of like that and then I'll take the opacity down just a little bit just so it kind of stands out from the background a little bit kind of makes it look like it has some shine to it and that looks pretty good so now we're going to create a new layer we're going to go to our paintbrush tool and our default brushes we have um, some different options here uh, you can use these little stars right here which is um, right here you're going to go ahead and make sure that you have on white as your foreground color and then you can just click wherever you want them to be they need to be a little bit bigger though so probably uh, my opacity's down. That's why I thought I knew something was wrong. You can see here that you can just kind of create these little shimmers on it. Um, you don't want to have too many of these; just a couple of them on it, uh, just to kind of make it glow a little bit, and um, and also make sure to vary the size a little bit as well. And you can see there, it kind of just makes it look like the chrome itself is standing out with some glimmering and some shimmering. And uh, that's how to make Chrome text in Photoshop, guys. Really fast, really simple. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And the only other thing that I want to cover is that if you go in here to Color Overlay, you can actually go in and um, make your, your text gold if you um, play with the settings the right way. Um, something kind of like that. That looks pretty golden. Maybe bring a little bit more yellow into it kind of like that and then you have gold as well as chrome so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and I will see you all in the next one peace